Minasan, Ocarina Sai. Today, I honestly don't really have an introduction. I don't have anything to say that I won't already be saying later in the video, so let's just jump right into it. Guilty Kiss is a subunit under Aqua within the Love Live franchise, and my personal favorite, not just within Aqua, but within the whole franchise. As with most subunits, it consists of three members. Riko Sakurauchi, played by Rika Koaida, Yoshiko Tsushima, played by Aika Kobayashi, and Mari Ohara, played by Aina Suzuki. The group was formed throughout four phases. In December of 2015, six different configurations of members were offered to be chosen from. In January of 2016, the unit members were revealed, and people were asked to submit names for them. In March, the ten choices for the unit names were revealed, and not long after, in April, it was revealed that Guilty Kiss was the chosen name. But shoutouts to Mystic Flower, Chrome Cross, and Rim, which is the first letters of each of the characters' names. Due to the image presented by the members, many of the name submissions had dark or gothic feels to them. And in my opinion, all of the names were actually really good. Well, maybe not Pippet. Sounds like a British dog or something. But anyway, the Guilty Kiss name was meant to symbolize the slightly grown up and a little devil-like image the unit has with them all being mature but immature at the same time. The group's introduction is easy and the most quotable and most memorable one for me. That being... <laughs> which translates to love is everything, guilty kiss. A big reasoning behind this is due to the fact that each of the members have I in their name. I being the Japanese word for love. Sometimes they have a little too much fun with their introduction though. That original clip is like a minute and a half long. I'd love to show you the whole thing, but I'm not trying to get this channel taken down as well. Their fans are referred to as their familiars, like something you would summon in a fantasy story. But because of their accents, I always heard familia, like they're Italian mobsters or something. Their music genre actually has two different styles, those being rock music and EDM party music. Sort of complete opposites, but both get you really hyped up. They have 11 original songs, which I will get to, but their first being Strawberry Trapper, released with its coupling song Guilty Night, Guilty Kiss. This was in 2016. In 2017, they released three more songs, Korayasuki, Shadowgate to Love, and Guilty Eyes Fever, also appearing at Aqua's first live on February 25th and 26th, as well as Aqua's second live, which was a tour on August 5th and 6th, 19th and 20th, and September 29th and 30th. 2018, they only released one new song, that being Guilty Farewell Party, but naturally they were part of the Hakodate Yuna Carnival on April 27th and 28th. This was hosted by Saint Snow and focused mostly on the subunits. 2019, Three More Bangers, Love Pulsar, Phantom Rocket Adventure, and my personal favorite party song of theirs, New Romantic Sailors. This honestly might be my favorite song Love Live has ever published. They also performed one song at Aqua's 5th Live on June 8th and 9th. Kinda weird that each of the subunits only had one song, like, hey, bye. In 2020, they released no new music, but they were at the Love Live 9th Anniversary Festival on July 18th and 19th. Also, they were fortunate enough to have their first solo concert, titled New Romantic Sailors, on February 8th and 9th, just a few weeks before the pandemic really hit. Later in the year, October 11th and 9th, the Aqua Online Lost World concert happened, where the subunits made another appearance and Guilty Kiss was actually the opening performers for both days. 2021, more new songs, three of them, big shocker, I know. But these are arguably their strongest songs. Nameless Love Song, Deep Sea Cocoon, and my personal favorite rock song of theirs, Shooting Star Warrior. With that last song also being the title for their first full album. All of their prior songs were bundled in with this, along with remixes of Strawberry Trapper and New Romantic Sailors. Finally for 2021, they had their second solo live, Return to Love, on September 25th and 26th. This was the first live concert in Love Live history to feature a live band playing with the girls for most of the songs. One of the members of the band even composing their three newest songs. So aside from their own songs, they have about 10 covers of Aqua songs. Those being Aqua Pirate's Desire, Brightest Melody, Daydream Warrior, Deep Resonance, Hop Step Y, Jump Up High, Kimi no Hitomi o Meguru Boken, Thrilling One Way, Water Blue New World, and Yuki wa Dokuni Kimi no Munegi, which you will only find at their solo lives. Well, that's it for the music and live performance portion. 
Keep in mind that they are a subunit, so naturally they don't have all that much attention on them. But now it's time for a few facts about the group before talking about the animated characters. None of the girls are the same age, with Ida being the oldest and Ina being the youngest. Ina also being the shortest, while Kion is the tallest. None of the girls come from the same home prefecture or from the same agency. But Guilty Kiss does house Ina, who is often regarded as Aqua's best singer, and Kion, who is also often said to be Aqua's best singer and the best dancer. Coupling this with Ida's absolute beauty and her fun personality, this is probably why Guilty Kiss is by far the most popular subunit, not only within Aqua, but within the franchise as a whole. Some might even call them overrated, but I would argue they have definitely earned their place. The final fact about them is that they have one member from each year, just like Muse's Lily White. And now onto the characters. As I just mentioned, we have one member from each of the school years, naturally making Yohane the first year member and Mario the third year member, the youngest and oldest respectively. But funny enough, Yohane is also the shortest, and Mari is not only the tallest within the unit, but within Aqua as a whole. As with all Aqua units, unfortunately they didn't get a spotlight in the anime, but Guilty Kiss did technically first appear in Season 1 Episode 9 at the start of Mari's verse of Mijiku Dreamer. This is of course at the ending of the episode. Also, this is my favorite episode of anime ever, by the way. So I used to give a bunch of fun facts about each character, but now I'm basically just going to cover their name meanings and maybe a few facts if I find anything interesting enough. The Ri in Riko means pear, like the fruit, while the Ko means child, while her last name means cherry blossom within. I'm going to go ahead and assume that her name meaning was meant to show her blooming like a flower out of her comfort zone to become an idol. The Ma in Mari means ball, while the Ri means white jasmine, which is a flower by the way. O means small, and Hara means plain or field. Those are two completely different words, so I doubt there is any deeper meaning to her name. They probably just like the sound of it. But Mari can actually be compared to a combination of Muses Ellie and Nozomi. All being third years, Ellie and Mari being blonde, the tallest member of the group, and foreigners. While Mari and Nozomi are both fluent in English with the biggest chest in their group. Also loving to touch the other members' chests. Me too, Mari. Me too. Yoshi means good or goodness, and Ko, as I said earlier, means child. So her name literally means good child which she is. Su means port or harbor, while Shima means island. Also, I'm sure you are aware, thanks to a certain popular video game that came out a few years ago, Tsushima is actually a real-life island in Japan. Within Aqua, Yohane holds the number 6, which is very fitting considering she is the fallen angel, and we are all her little demons. For the final fact, Miss Tsushima was actually originally going to be a second year student, but for reasons I am not aware of, she was changed to become a first year. With that, we have reached the ending. Thank you so much for watching. I decided to change the style I do these group guides to be more like the individual idol guides. So some feedback would be greatly appreciated. I hope to see you in the next one. It's going to be on a video I already made, but I'm just gonna post it again because I kind of need to. But I hope you'll watch it again. And after that, we'll be going back to Aqua for the second subunit. <laughs> Shokan. Yes. Aiko, so, 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 so,